How's it going guys, it's Kyle the HowToGuy123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to update your existing Minecraft server to the latest version of Minecraft. So if you're running a 1.14.4 server, you can no longer play on it on the latest version of Minecraft which is 1.15. So this video will show you guys how to update it to 1.15. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is to download the updated 1.15 minecraft server.jar file. So come over to minecraft.net slash download. Like always, the link will be in the description below. And just scroll down a bit until it says download Minecraft Java Edition server software and click on the green download button here. Do not download the uh, Minecraft server software here because this is for the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft and this is for our servers for the Java Edition. So anyways, click on the green download button. And it's going to bring you to this page here and just make sure to download minecraft server uh, 1.15.jar uh, jar or whichever version you are trying to update to so go ahead and click it and it's going to start a download and just give it a minute to download this will depend on your internet speeds all right so now it's going to ask you if you want to keep this dot jar file because google chrome tends to think that dot jar files could be harmful to your computer make sure to click on keep otherwise if you discard it's going to delete the file now I'm going to drag it on my desktop just so we know where it is. And we're just going to leave it there for now. And you're going to want to locate your Minecraft server folder. Let's go ahead and open it. And it should look like this. And you're going to want to delete your original 1.14 or whatever version you're on. The original jar file here. And now you're going to want to drag in the new 1.15 or your updated Minecraft server jar file. Alright, so now that we've done that, you're going to want to make sure it's named exactly as it was before. So before, mine was called server.jar. So I'm going to want to right click on it, click rename, and we're going to want to call it just server.jar. Also in my last video, a lot of people were confused that it didn't have the .jar extension. If it doesn't show the uh, .jar extension, come up here to a view, and then make sure that uh, file name extensions are checked. And that's going to show the .jar extension there. So once again, you're going to want to come to the run.bat and just edit it. And this is just going to make sure that this is named correctly. So right here, this here should be named exactly the same as our .jar file. So mine is called server.jar and it says server.jar here. So we should have no problem running our .bat file. So we can just exit out of that if no changes were made. And now we can actually go ahead and just run our .bat file and it should open up like normal. So it should take a second to load everything up. As you can see here, it's saying starting Minecraft server version 1.15, so we've successfully updated our server. So let's just let everything load for a second, and there we go, it's done. We can minimize out of our console, once again make sure it's still running to keep our server up, and we can go ahead and open up Minecraft, make sure you're on 1.15. Alright, so now let's try it and connect to our server, so come over here to multiplayer, and you can connect your server however you like, preferably I like to just uh, connect to my server with the server address being localhost which means they'll just connect to any server running on this computer and it, you can see that it's up let's go ahead and join it and there we go our server is now updated so our server is now updated you can see if i hit f3 uh it says minecraft 15 i'm not sure why i'm lagging but uh yeah there we go you should still have all your stuff your world should be the same um your server property should be the same so everything should be the same it's just uh your server is updated to the latest version of Minecraft. So I hope this video helped. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.